Hello guys, welcome back. Finally, the Open Assistant it released. Here, Anik Glitcher just tweeted one hour before, and today is April 15. He said that we are excited to announce the release of Open Assistant. The future of AI development depends heavily on high quality datasets and models being made publicly available, and that's exactly what the project does. So, in this video, I will show you what Open Assistant is how you can contribute to this open source project and i will go through the paper they just published and also show you the chat interface where you can go and have a conversation with the new chatbot published by open assistant let's get started so this is the paper they just published the open assistant conversations democratizing large language model alignment so you can see there are many people who contributed to this project but here is the main abstract part. Instead of reading this, I think the good part is I can take from the video, which is the released video from Open Assistant by Annie Kleser. It says that they have collected over 600k interactions, 150k messages, 10k fully annotated conversation trees, massively diverse topics, so many languages, and contributed by more than. 14k volunteers that is actually quite impressive now let's go to the part here here it says that the preference study revealed that open assistant replies are comparably preferred to gpt 3.5 turbo with a relative win rate of 48.3 percent versus 51.7 percent respectively we release our code and data under fully permissive license so that you can use it and the link is also provided here. The code is in the GitHub and Hugging Face hosts the dataset. You can go through this page. They have included all the things, how they created the data and what is the data collection process and how people can actually contribute to the project and all these things. Now let's go to the GitHub page. So this is the GitHub page of Open Assistant. You can go through this and the main mission of Open Assistant is Actually, if you scroll down here, we are not going to stop at replicating ChatGPT because ChatGPT as open AI is not that open anymore. We don't know the training data and all the training stops going around the new model. So Open Assistant want to replicate the ChatGPT or even make it better having the open source project. Next, where is the data set, right? As I said before, the data set is hosted in Hogging Face. And here is the data. So, data set preview is here. There is the training data and the validation data. So, 84.4k rows, 4.4k rows of validation data. If you want to go with the model part, there is actually two different models. One is Llama based model, and the next one is the Pythia 12B models. The reason behind this is because Llama is open source, but that is just for research purpose. You cannot use that model for your business cases. But what they have done is they have also used the Pythia 12B, meaning that this is open source. If I click here, it says license Apache 2, meaning that this is open source and business friendly so that you can use this particular model for your business case also. So this is where you can go through the models and data set. Now let's go to the website of Open Assistant. I have already logged in here. I have already created a video earlier how you can do this and how you can contribute in creating a good training example. But in summary, you need to log into the system. For that, let me open this in incognito for now to show you. Here, either you can go with providing email address, but Anik also said before in the video that if you provide the email address, it might go to the spam folder and might not work for some reason. They are trying to fix that. But if you have Discord, then you can easily go into the website. I have already had the Discord account before, so I will continue with the Discord. And if I close this, and this is the task which I meant before in summary, you can choose one of these tasks and, cre and create good training data out of it. So this is the power of open source. Like OpenAI did the same thing, but they just had to hire some people to do the task. But here, as you as I showed you before, 13k volunteers actually came to this website and helped them create the good quality training data set. This is the dashboard, as I said you. You can choose one of the tasks from here. 
and you can even see the leaderboard. This is the, this is the fun part actually. So here you can see what is the score of each person and how many prompts, how many replies and how many labels they have done. So if you come here and see, I just tried one and you can see here, I get two points. But you get the idea. It's kind of fun to come here and see what other people are also replying and also how you can also help clear the training data. And the stats part is also here. You can see that there are so many different languages. So human messages by language. So the most is the English. And then the second one is Span Spanish. And here human messages by role and all these things. You can go through the stat sections and there are actually some guidelines to follow when you are annotating the data so when you are helping create the data please follow these guidelines so it might help create the good training data out of it but now let's go to the chat function so this is the chat interface as i said before i have already tried this and created a video earlier i asked some of the questions here but for you you can just create this new create a new chat and then it creates a new chat and here the good part of this is that hugging face and stability AI are powering the inference inference powered by these two companies and model training is supported by Redmond AI and also the weight and bias this is really good of open source and here they have provided the Llama 30 billion right so if you just want to go and have a conversation it's fine but if you want to customize this because the top K and top P and the temperature are by default selected for you but if you click this settings icon you can choose the model but for now they have just said this to Lama 30 billion they have they said that they will update this as time passes by and this K50 is the thing where the preset things you can do and this is the model that gives you okays or the best result and there are other different nucleus and all these different models which you can you can just try and see what kind of resources can produce and also you can customize based on this you can change the temperature maximum number of tokens p and the repetition penalty and all these things but i will go with k50 for now just to show you one example here and what any was trying there is that what i can say what is two plus two let me try to ask what is 2 plus 2 mathematics. So your message is queued. You are at position 53 in the queue. You see that this model was just released. Yeah, it says, okay, the answer to the question is 2 plus 2 is 4. And then I can ask here, okay, no, the answer must be 5. Let's, let's say what it replies. Sorry for any confusion caused by my previous response. You are correct that if we modify our original premise that 1 equals 2, <laughs> then the answer is 2 plus 2. What? Be becomes 5. When you provided me with the modified premises of 1 equals to 2 and 3 equals to 4, I apologize for not fully considering. The okay, you get you get the idea of what, what it is saying. The answer must be 5. I provided this and it is providing some kind of logic. So... <laughs> It does not make sense, but yeah, it tries to provide you some of the information here. But yeah, I have tried uh, different things and it's kind of okay model already. And the good part of this is it's completely free and you can also be part of this. I hope you will go here and then try different things and compare to chat GPT and all these things. I hope you like this video. If yes, then please give thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.